Hello fellow welders, I'm here at AmeriArc Welding Academy in Inglewood, New Jersey. We're here to go through a tutorial on D1.1 structural steel plate. D1.1 is a certification test required to be a welder according to American Welding Society and New York City Department of Buildings. It is tested on a one inch thick plate with a backer bar. 7018 welding rod is used and all the way out. So before we get started, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off the mill scale on our test plates. We have to clean off the mill scale off the test plate and the backer plate. Just to prep all the material, get it ready for tack up. And we got our piece all cleaned up and ready to tack. We we'll attack everything up and get to weld. Now that we got our piece tacked up, we're ready to weld. We're welding with 1 8 7018 welding rod. For this, this test, D1.1, you're only required a chipping hammer and a wire brush. We're welding only one eighth rod. We're gonna start on our runoff plate and we're gonna end on our runoff plate. Let's get started. We want clean fusion. We're running a nice heat here. I'm running at around 117 amps using a one eighth welding rod. And I'm basically trying to fuse both bevels to the back of plate to make a nice root pass. I'm gonna stop midway so I can switch rods. So now we had to stop half midway to uh, switch rods. We was running out of rod. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use the back of bar to strike up. I'm gonna drag down and I am going to circle right where I left off at and continue out. I'm gonna continue on this back of bar because what this does is set me up for my next path. So I walk it all the way up the back of bar. Let's clean off our slag. Now this is pretty much what we're looking for here. We're looking for clean fusion. From beginning to end, this is our root pass, our first initial binding of the plate to the back of bar. And as you can see, we have no slag trapped in the sides, no porosity. This is what we want. We want a nice, clean root pass. That's pretty good for our first initial pass. Now uh, we're gonna move on to our next pass, which is gonna be another weave pass. We're gonna do probably around two more weave passes just to try to get this a little more halfway fill. And then we're gonna move on to doing. I got a slight angle on my rod because I'm going in an uphill progression. Going from sidewall to sidewall.
So now that we're halfway filled out, we don't want to weave too much metal here, all right? Because you don't want to trap any slag or, or carry any porosity or anything like that. So what we're going to do is start moving to running stringers. We're going to run about two, three stringers. We'll fill it out as we go. Now it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. Again, you always want that puddle to be manageable. Want them string is nicely tied in together. I'm gonna finish this all the way out because I want a nice finished bead profile. So we're gonna move on to our third stringer. I, I, I'm never really clear if I'm gonna do three stringers or two stringers or four stringers. I, I basically gauge it one at a time. I see, I try not to stretch the, the, the well puddle too far. If I could catch that next edge, I can. If I can't, and I, then I'll just add another stringer. No big deal. Here's the finished product, no undercut on both edges, nice even bead profile, full weld from top to bottom, not below baseball, base wall, and not too much reinforcement. Always room for improvement, and see you on the next one.